Let's join Mona Saif, who's in front of the Parliament building, where protesters have gathered calling for a dissolution of the Assembly on Tuesday, as we've mentioned, Mona, an activist who we've spoken to several times in our uh, extensive coverage here on, Alge on uh, Al Jazeera. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Mona Saif, it's four o'clock in the morning there. What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What's the mood like amongst your group? The mood is amazing. It's uh, it's freezing though, but the mood is amazing. Everyone is um, um, uh, like wrapped in a blanket or tent. We've completely taken over the street. And for us, it's not just the victory of taking over the street of the parliament, but also um, like at the end of the street is where on January 25th, we, we, we went through one of the toughest battles with the police where there were rubber bullets and uh, tear gas and severe beating up. So for us to, to take over this part of the street and feel at home and completely make it ours is really a victory. Are you calling for others to join you to spread the protest um, out of Tahrir or Liberation Square? We, we we called for others to join us, but not just like only a, a few thousand from Tahrir Square. So we actually take over the street without uh, threatening or without um, uh, uh, decreasing the amount of people that are in Tahrir Square. And we also we got this support. We got a lot of people coming from Tahrir Square who who camped out here with us. Uh, and right now on the gates of the parliament, there is a big banner saying "Close till toppling the regime." Um, is there much of a security presence around you? Are you worried that as politicians try to enter the building, um, there might be some attempts to dislodge you from where you are? I'm not really worried because really we, we are too many to be uh, like to be removed or evacuated unless they are going to use extreme violence mm. and I'm not really sure I, I don't really think they are going to do that now after all of what they already did and uh, right now really all eyes are on them uh, there's a small presence of the army on the periphery of the two streets but other than that it's, it's only our people our checkpoints and everything uh, I want to ask you why you think you saw those increased numbers um, on the streets, perhaps the biggest since the protests began. Yes, um, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that the interview with Wael Ghanem yesterday was uh, the tipping or the turning point. Uh, Wael Ghanem was released after 12, uh, 12 days uh, of being detained and he was also the admin of the Facebook page where all Salat Said, which set the first call for January 25th. Uh, the, the, uh, the interview was done on national TV, so... Um, uh, so it, really everyone in Egypt saw it and he was so genuine and so you could see that he was not spoiled by politics and that his call for this was really for Egypt and was so genuine and his last statement when he saw the, the, the photos of the martyrs and he said we did not do this it was those who, who clinged on to, onto power that did this to us it was so powerful. I, right after the interview, I got so many messages from people who were uh, who turned against us in the middle of the uh, uh, of the movement, suddenly supporting us and not just supporting us, sending out messages and calling for other people to come. So I think yesterday was our turning point in gaining all of the public uh, public support back with us again. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for the update. We will get back to you, of course, as the demonstrations continue. Mona Saif on the line from Cairo outside Parliament.